This, this example contains all the methods that you really need to know, and they easily generalize. So um, this is the basic setup. Now, when I said that these things um, involve basic ideas from calculus, the basic idea here is just the product rule, the product rule from calculus. So what I'm going to do is actually take my differential equation. It's not separable, so we can't use the methods that we used, the, uh, used yesterday. I'm going to multiply both sides of my differential equation by a special function. Okay, e to the minus 2x. Now you might think, hang on, first of all, why would you want to do that and where did that come from? Well, just bear with me. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so I multiply both sides by e to the minus 2x to obtain the following. Now, if I multiply this by the right-hand side, I'm just going to get e to the x. Now, you may be looking at this and going, oh, come on, Chris. That guy said you're a good teacher. You've made it more complicated. What's going on? I don't believe him. The point here is that actually that format is a good format to have, and I'll show you why. The left-hand side is actually the derivative of a special product. And this is where the product rule comes in. Can anyone tell me that underlined left-hand side, what is that the derivative? What product is that the derivative of? Yeah, y times e to the minus 2x. Okay? So the left-hand side can be collapsed down to the derivative of a product. Now, you can just verify this by the, uh, the product rule. So, so let me show you. This is e, y times e to the minus 2x. If you take the derivative of this product, because it's a function of x times another function of x, y is a function of x, if you take the derivative, then you actually get this left-hand side. So let's call this our double star. So now I am collapsing that whole left-hand side down to the derivative of a special product. Okay, so if you, you can easily verify it just by using the product rule. So what I can do now is actually undo that DDX, that derivative, just by integrating both sides. What I'm searching for, remember, is the solution y, which is a function. So to undo that, I'm just going to integrate. Okay, so I integrate both sides. The ddx is going to disappear. Okay, so what I can do now is work with this and just rearrange. Make y the sub... <laughs> okay. So I'm going to just divide both sides by e to the minus 2x. So I can put that into both um, parts and I'm going to get the following. Okay, kind of neat, right? The only thing that relied on, yes. No, it's fine. No, I mean, you, you could just have y equals here. That would be fine. I'm just, 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 I want to emphasize that y is a function of x. Okay, yes? Sorry, say again? 
Oh, sorry, yes, positive 2x. You're right. I need to brush up on my uh, index laws. Yeah, you have to write. Yeah, you will, you will have to write it like that. Yeah, well, it'd be incorrect otherwise. Okay. Um, oh, hang on. No, no, no. Let me take that back. You can change the constant to another exponential. Say, you know, e to another constant, and write it like that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, that, that, no, well, this, the thing is, this isn't a constant, though. It's a function, because it's got an x in it, right? Okay? All right, so let's get back to really understanding where this magic function came from, okay? I multiplied both sides by my original differential equation, and I compressed everything, or or broke everything down to the derivative of a product. Now, two things. <coughs> Firstly, notice that this e to the minus 2x is just the, the, the minus 2x is just the integral of this coefficient of y. So minus 2, when you integrate that, you get minus 2x. Okay, e to the minus 2x. In general, that method will work. And secondly, Notice what we've been able to compress this left-hand side down to. The unknown function times this starting exponential. Okay, so those two things will work in general. When you just make this first choice e to the integral of this coefficient of y. In this case, e to the integral of minus 2, e to the, uh, e to the minus 2x. Okay, so... In a general framework, your linear differential equation has the following uh, solution. Now the v here is just known as an integrating factor. Okay, so an integrating factor is used, you multiply through both sides of the DE5, you collapse the left-hand side down to the derivative of a product, y times the integrating factor, and then you integrate both sides. Now you can, if you wanted to, just use this general formula for your solution. Okay, it just relies on, on one integration. But, you know, it's, it's so simple that actually people screw it up a lot of the time. Um, they, they forget the constant on the end. They, um, you know, they, they, it's, it's, pretty, it's a too simplistic a way um, of looking at it. And the thing is, if you, if you forget this, the method that I'm going to teach you, you can always you know, construct a solution in the exam. So 